Good evening folks and welcome to another video. Tonight I'm going to be showing you the process by which I go through to add new items into the categories and catalogs that are listed in the upper left hand corner of the Sweet Home 3D environment. Uh, tonight I need to go get some items from a 3D website which is part of the free resources made available to those of us who use this software. Uh, those of us that have been using this for a long time probably already know how to do this. This year's video is geared more toward the new user and the intermediate users. I am no expert by any chance, but this is just how I go about doing this. This might save someone some time and hassle trying to figure out how to get this in there. So what we're going to do is on the 3D Home website, if you've come in here before and you've gone in through and you've clicked under support for 3D models it brings you to this page. Under this page is a listing of the libraries that are available as well as other websites where you can get uh, free 3D items. The site I prefer to use myself is the Trimble 3D Warehouse which is actually now SketchUp which is from Google and is part of the Google SketchUp family. Uh, tonight, in my case, I need to get some I-beam wooden joists, and the ones I am going to be using for my design are from a company by the name of Warehouser, so I need to see if Warehouser has them. So we're going to select Warehouser in our search. We're going to hit search, and there they are. We're going to open this up, and for my needs, I need one particular I joist and that's going to be this one here at the bottom the TGI 230 which is a nine and a half inches tall uh, beam so what I need to do now is select the download so we're going to come over to download I'm going to choose the bottom file here Colodia Colada file not 100% sure on the pronunciation of that word uh, but this is the file format that is supported by 3D Home. The SketchUp files will not work correctly if you try to import them into 3D Home. So we're going to select the Collodia file. We're going to tell it to save as because I have a default location where I want these files to save to. And it is my Sweet Home 3D library source. So I'm going to save it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell it yes, because I had some data corruption, so this will give me a known good working file. Now when you get to this point here, where it's asking what to do with it, you don't want to do anything with any one of these three options. You want to tell it to close. You just want to close that out. Now this is being done in Microsoft Bing. If you are inside of Google Chrome, you may get the option to automatically open it, or uh, you may have the option to view it. Again, do the same thing in Chrome. Close it. Don't do anything with it in there because what it's going to do is it's going to recognize that zip file as a standard zip file and try to open it and expand it and that's not going to do you any good. You don't need to open it. The program will do that for you. So now we're going to get out of here and we're going to come into Sweet Home and we're going to go to Furniture, Import Furniture, choose a model, and we're going to go and we're going to find our file, which is right here. We're going to tell it to open. We're going to tell it to continue. Now, in this view, I have the ability to make some modifications to it so it lines up with what I want. In this case, what I want is I want my left view to become my front view. So to do that, I'm going to hit the right arrow. And what that's going to do is it's going to move the left view to the front view and then I can always move it back as well. So this isn't set in stone until you hit that continue button. So we're going to move that to there because that's the way I want it. And we're going to click continue. And it's going to show us the name, the dimensional information about this item. And then what I want to do is I want to select the button that says, or the box that says add to catalog. And under catalog, we're going to have the category and under the category we're going to type in lumber or whatever you might be downloading or 
library that you want to create for yourself. In my case, it's going to be lumber. So once we've done that, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to click finish or continue. Then we're going to click finish. And there it is. There is our new item brought into the program, ready for us to use. Now in my case, I need this to actually be 16 feet long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click it and I'm just going to change its depth to 16 and tell it OK. And there we go. I can now go in and complete the design with a specified beam from Warehouser under their guidelines using Sweet Home 3D. That's pretty much it to adding furniture into your library. Now, if you've made a mistake and you don't actually want that in your library, all you have to do is come back up, select the item itself, right click, and select delete. And that will delete that item from underneath that library. And if in the case of like this, it's the only thing in that category, library, it will delete the entire library. So be careful what you do. In this case, I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to leave it be. So that's it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you found this interesting and helpful. And if that's the case, that's good. If not, don't know what to tell you. See you next time.